Hi there, welcome back to Logical Lane. Today, let's look at this question, our possessives. In this question, we're mainly looking at the possessive forms of the nouns, like your water bottle, my cat, etc. Our is a language spoken in Nicaragua, which is a country in Central America. We're given a long list of words and phrases, as well as the translations, and then we're asked to use the small pieces to translate the given English phrases into our words. You may want to pause here and take a closer look at them first. So let's go through the list together. I have numbered these phrases and made the table underneath so we can collect the translations as we go. And like always, we're going to use a comparison strategy. That is to compare the phrases in their original forms Thus, spotting patterns in their possessive forms. We can take a start at the set number 5, 6, and 7. Snake, their snake, and your singular snake. By comparing 6 to 5, we can see that the only difference is the kana inserted in the middle. So here, we can infer that kana just means there. If we go to other phrases including there like number 3, 13 and 27, we can see kana as well. I have highlighted them in the list and you may want to do so in your own table too. We can get the original forms of the nouns fish, knee and possum from number 3, 13 and 27 simply by deleting the kana in the possessive forms. Now, given that we know the original form of fish by deleting kana in number 3, we can compare number 4 to the original form. By doing so, we know that mana means your plural. Similarly, we go down the list and we see your plural in number 21. By deleting mana, we get the original form of dog. Now we can add our findings to the table. Let's go back to number 5, 6, and 7. Now if we observe 7 and 5, we can see that MA in the middle denotes your singular. This is also what happens in number 25. So from 7, we get MA equals to your singular. And in 25, we get UMAG equals to window. Time for us to move on to the next pair, 11 and 12. We can spot the difference Ka for his or her. And again, we go through the list and get the original forms for clothes, stone, and forehead from number 2, 14, and 18. In next pair, 19 and 20, we know that the knee in the middle means our inclusive. Inclusive here just means when I'm saying we, the we here also includes the listener. In number 8 and 22, we get original forms of God and tomato. Now for the possessive forms, the only thing we have left is just our exclusive. But we're not given any original forms for gray squirrel in 23, nor the moon in 26. Actually, there's one more piece of information in the question itself. We're given with the possessive form of grey squirrel, and from here we can get its original form tai tai by the leading car in the middle. Therefore, if we compare tai tai with number 23, tai kina tai, we know that our exclusive equals to kina. So far, we've completed our table. This table shows you the rules to change nouns to their possessive forms and some nouns in their original form that we have inferred from their possessive forms. Now we can go to the question. We're going to use the jigsaws of syllables given on the right hand side of the question to write the hour phrases. Each jigsaw can only be used once. Please note that the bing syllable has not been used, although it's crossed out. It's a typo. Now, if we look at question B, we know we're going to use the word heaven, which is number nine, and the possessive form our inclusive, which according to the table we just made is ni. But how do we know where to add the ni? 
This is when we have to look at the long list again. We can see a pattern that the possessive forms are either added before the last syllable or as the last syllable. When there are multiple syllables, the possessive forms are added as the second last syllable. If there is only one, it's added at the very end. Notice here, there's an exception to the rule. If we look at number 11 and 12, we can see that although there are two syllables, ka and pak in the original form, the possessive form ka is added at the end. We should be mindful when dealing with this one. To change the word heaven into our inclusive heaven, we can simply add ni in between e and bing and cross out we have used in the jigsaw pool. For your plural iguana, we first find iguana in number 10 and your plural mana in the table. We add mana before the last syllable and get kama nama. For the next one, we can find gun on the very top of the list and we add ka as the second last syllable. Question A. Lemon is found in number 16 and your singular is ma ma. You make a sandwich by squishing ma into lima and you get limama for your singular lemon. Similarly, you find woodpecker in number 15 and you make another sandwich by adding kana in between. Following the steps we will usually take, our exclusive time will be time kina. Question H is a tricky one because we are not given what ma is in our. But what we can do is to look at the table on the right hand side and compare thus inferring our answers. If we compare there to his or her, we can see there's one more NA in the end of KA. Similarly, if we compare your plural to your singular, there's also one more NA and at the end of MA. Therefore, we can infer that NA just denotes plural. So we can just simply minus NA from Kina, which is um, our for our exclusive, and get KI for my. And if we go back to set number 17, we can see cat is missed to. Like always, we add, we add the possessive form before the last syllable. So what we get is just mosquito for my cat. We have four syllables left now, and they're ka, na, pak, and ki, and they're meant to make up a new phrase. What I would do now is to match one of them with those ones on the list to find out which exactly word it is. For me, pak is the most e easy to identify because there are no other packs other than car park, which is mana in English, in number 11. After some trial and error, we get car park kina, our exclusive mana, and this marks the end of the question. Thank you for watching and hope you have enjoyed the question.